Research to try and improve their, their respiration. And so, one of the drugs that I gave is, like Marcus said, is a partial reversing agent that we've always hoped would reverse the respiratory depression they get, but they still say stay asleep. Um, and so, we did a lot of work uh, last year that we re combined that drug with the oxygen, makes, makes the respiration a, an awful lot better. It's still not great, but it's a lot better than it used to be. Then the second problem that we often have with rhinos is when we put them into the, the into holding facilities, uh, some of them, for whatever reason, don't want to eat. So eventually we have to release them after, after about a week or so. Um, and one of the things we've always worried about is maybe it's because during this process they're not breathing so well. <clears throat> and so now we want to, what we're trying to do is see if, if we assist some of them with oxygen and treat them, and some we don't. We want to see if that makes any difference to how they adapt to the bomas. Because then that'll tell us where the problem's coming from. Because for many years we've been trying to work out where this problem comes from, that they don't want to eat, and we've never been able to identify. So that's what we're trying to do now. We can just make way first, and then we're going to put the microchips in. Okay. having to handle them and without threatening them from other runners because you can just close them into different compartments. So typically what will happen now is once we've started the animal, the animal has received a, a, a long-acting tranquilizer just to help it overcome the initial stress period of the bombers and then they put in this bigger compartment first because that allows them to have a bit of space away from whatever they feel threatened by. Uh, this this uh, period of time that they spend here is roughly about a week. Um, and we monitor them very closely in that time because they now have to learn to eat artificial food, drink water and that. Uh, we have a very uh, strict scoring system. We've got a BOMA manager that with the staff, they check the rhinos every day, they see how much they eat, they check the dung, they check the consistency of the dung, they check the, the status of the animal because they do sometimes struggle to adapt to captivity and those animals that don't adapt will release again. So we have a, like a, a point scoring system and we want to see the score increasing over time. So if after seven days their scores aren't really getting much better, then we'll give them maybe another two days. Otherwise, we'll reload them and take them back to where we caught them. They tend to then very quickly 
uh, recover from, from the stress. But once they've adapted to the bombers, they're eating the um, lucerne and grass we feed them, they're actually quite easy animals to keep in captivity.